Cheers, Hodinky. I'm Garrett Kinsman. I'm the co-founder of Nodal here in San Francisco, and I'm going to tell you guys a watch story. So last summer, I was spending some time in India, um, visiting old friends. I used to live there, and on the way back, I stopped in London. So one of my other great friends said, Garrett, stop by in London. Uh, come see it. And uh, I could meet some investors there and old friends, so stopped in London. Uh, I went to a meeting uh, visiting one of our investors at an oil trading firm and everybody there had some really incredible watches and walked from there to my next meeting at some fancy hotel um, the, one of the few places I could get in wearing a t-shirt and, and shorts in London and uh, after that walked back finding myself in the watch district kind of the legendary spot of all of the uh, the high-end stores and the the graph diamonds and, and all of that um, so I walked through the stores, uh, tried to get into one of the vintage um, Rolex shops. They wouldn't even let me in. The guy was like, nah, -uh. another person walked in. I kept walking, um, checked out IWC, checked out a few other stores, and uh, stopped. And they were, you know, okay. I wasn't wearing nice clothes or, you know, very wealthy. But I finally go into the Grand Seiko shop. And I'm a technologist, so very interested in the high-end movements. And they welcome me, they say, hey, how's it going? Come on in, take a look. Uh, they were happy to answer my questions and have me try on anything. And I'm looking around and in the window, I see this. I don't know if you can see that, but it's the Grand Seiko chronograph. And I saw it and my eyes were just like, wow, that's the most advanced watch that's like ever been built. There was like one in space. Um, so I saw that and was immediately blown away. Um, and again, this was after checking out the Breguet um, high frequency watch um, earlier in the day. So I saw this and I said, I gotta have it. Um, if you don't know, it's a, a Grand Seiko spring drive. So they've custom built a small computer chip that's powered by a lab-grown quartz crystal that they've grown in their laboratories that keeps time and then that's used to control the release of the escapement using uh, a magnetic braking effect. So it's uh, very cool, um, extremely nerdy, ridiculously complex, and then designed with a full mechanical um, chronograph movement. So I had to have it. When I flew back from the States, I picked one up used and again, it's one of the most complicated watches that you can buy and, and a huge steal uh, for Grand Seiko. So that's my watch story. Hopefully I'll have a lot more. Um, but in the meantime, I got to get back to work. So cheers.